Hey, Greg, uh, you got a great dog. Where did you get your dog? Um, actually, my dog and I sort of found each other. I was moving from one house to another, and as I was moving from the parking lot to my house, I saw this really skinny dog that looked like he really needed food and also affection. I petted him. He followed me back and forth. The next day, he was out in front of the gate to the house. The next day, he made it inside the house to the Genkan, the area we leave our shoes. The next day, he made it to the top of the bed. Wow, so I don't, you're saying that you didn't choose your dog, your dog kind of chose you. Yes, I was, it was fate, destiny. So what's, uh, what's cool about your dog? Well, basically my dog is the world's greatest dog. Um, very unbiased. Uh, he understands English and Japanese and French. He almost never barks. He likes lots of people. He's a very intelligent and sensitive human being. Uh, dog. So your dog speaks three languages? Well, he doesn't speak them, but he understands them. So, can your dog do any special tricks? Actually, like, I, I didn't teach him to do any tricks, but he's amazing. Like, I walk him for, I could walk for miles with him. He's always by my side. And I don't need a leash, no lead whatsoever. He listens to me. He stops when I tell him to stop. If I tell him to go quickly, he runs quickly. Wow, sounds like a pretty good dog. So could, could you live without your dog? Is your dog invaluable? My dog is invaluable, actually. He's getting old now. He's 13 years old now. And I know that someday he will pass away. And when I think of that, that, it makes me really, really sad. I dread it. Yeah, that would be pretty tough. But in the future, you know, maybe after your, your dog has passed away, would you get another dog? I think it would take me many years probably to recover from the loss of Dancer. His name is Dancer.